Hi there, today we're unboxing a Wi-Fi controlled extension lead. So this particular product is by a company called NRJ. So it actually comes with a two year warranty as well. So let's have a quick look around the packaging. Quite nicely packaged, you know, you've got the apps there to give you the connectivity to the device. Some of the other products they also do. There's some more details on the back. Okay, so let's open it up and see what's in the packaging. Okay, so a bit of cardboard there. I'll open that up. Just got the cable and the actual power strip itself. Okay, anything else? There's just um, a manual. So let's have a quick flick. See if it's in English. Yeah, all in English. And the other side as well. Okay, that's good. Let's have a quick look at the product itself. It's a nice UK based socket here, it's fused as well, so that's good, safety wise. See how much cable comes, nice bit of Velcro strap on there, keeping it together. Quite a bit of cable there, so that's nice. Build quality of the cable, nice and chunky, so that's good. So the actual power strip itself, comes with a on off button there, probably used to configure it as well. Got three sockets and four USB points. The actual back of it has some rubber pads. It's obviously got it on my wood floor here. Doesn't easily slide along, keeps it nice and secure. So let me have a quick look at the instructions and we'll give it a go setting it up. Okay, so let's begin initially by installing the app for this device. So I've got my QR code reader here and you've got the two codes here, one for Android and one for Apple. So let's get the Android one scanned in. Open it up. And that's the app. We install that. Okay, that's installed now. Let's open the app up. Okay, asking for a login or register. Let's register. So let me register my details off camera and I'll continue recording in a second. Okay, so I've registered my details. It just asked for a phone number and to that phone number it sent a code. Now what I'll do, let's go to add. It should be quite straightforward now. Similar to Smart Life app, it looks exactly the same really, just a few different colors. So let's plug in the device first of okay, all. Okay, so it's plugged in. First thing to note, you can see it flashing away. Put that down and I don't know if I can show anything else. It's actually um, blue light appeared on there, so I guess that means the USB ports are active now. So let's go for wall outlet and it's asking if the device is blinking away i show on there and you can see it there just blinking so i'm going to confirm this but i'm going to do the next stage off screen because it's going to ask my wi-fi password so let me get that prepared okay i've just typed in my wi-fi password and it's trying to connect now to the device so the flashing on this has now stopped. And it's just on now. And there you go. Wow, that was quick. Okay, so if I click done. And now there you go. You can actually see the three sockets and the USB ports. So, I guess if I click it, let me show this a bit closer. See a light pop on and it turns on. 
and so on. Excellent. So let's test out just to make sure it does turn things on and off. So let's get something to plug in and test out. Okay, so I've got a battery charger here and this is quite a good use of the product. So if I plug it in, you can see the lights have actually powered on. And now I guess that must be three. There you go, it's powered off. Let's see what else we have on there. So we've got Opal, open all, for example. Close okay. all. So let's try out the alarm option. So we know the charger's plugged into socket three. So let's click switch three, add to the schedule. It's increased by a minute. So this is quite cool. You can actually pick when you want it to turn on and off. So you could have it turning on for about a few hours if you wanted to. So let's have it on on, click save. I'll go back, back to that. Oh, it's already gone to 18 past. So it should be getting ready to turn on. There you go. Slightly delayed, obviously timing wise, due to the fact it's all cloud based, but there you go, it's turned on. So in the same way, you could also set another scheduled activity just to say, turn it off. So you could have this on a daily basis or just, I guess as a one-off. If you're going out and you want it to just turn off after a little while, this is a great way of doing it. Okay, so the other thing about this product is the USB ports. So if I get a charging cable, plug it in there and just leave it charging and just show it charges. So at the moment, it's not charging, you can see there. So if I click, it should start charging. If I can show it just there. So what you could do, which is quite useful, you could set the timer on the USB port and just say, cut all the ports out at the same time every evening. So this avoids the situation where you leave your devices charging all night and they sort of overheat unnecessarily. So there you go, you could say, say at midnight daily you just want it to turn off and there you go so it will leave it charging and then by a certain time it will just turn off there you go excellent so other thing to show Obviously the button on there, this is like an override button. So you don't always have to use your phone just to turn it on and off. If I just click it now, it turns everything off and turn it on again, all the points come on. So it's just like using a standard uh, extension lead. So you can control it from here and turn it off. Okay, so another feature worth showing about this Wi-Fi controlled extension lead, which is quite cool. So at the moment, you see it's connected to my Wi-Fi. If I drop that, Let it connect to my um, data connection. Okay, it's on my data now. So if I hold that, there you go. Without opening any ports or doing any changes on my router, it works automatically. It's quite a cool feature. Okay, so let me show how to configure this Wi-Fi controlled extension lead onto your Google Home and Amazon Alexa. So first of all, let me go to my Android device and I've started up the Home app. That's where you can configure bits and pieces. And in Home Control, if I click plus, you'll see what I've got configured at the moment. So you'll see it's just a nest. So I've had a look through this and I can't see the NRJ app in here but the smart life app looks exactly the same as that app so what I've done I've already gone ahead in the background and configured smart life to work 
with this. So, what we'll do, we'll find Smart Life in here. It's just there. If I click on that, it'll appear with a login dialog. So let me log in off camera. Okay, so you get the following dialog. So Google will be able to receive your public profile, control your devices over the internet. So if I just click authorize to that, I'm just covering up my details in the corner. Okay, a linking, and there you go. Comes up with all the smart devices I've got. Now, if I go back, just confirm it's been added. Going to the top, there you go. It's just there. So now, I should just be able to call out to Google. So if I say, okay, Google, turn on switch one. Sure, turning switch one on. And there you go. The charger's turned on. Okay, Google, turn on switch two. Sure, turning switch two on. Okay, Google, turn on switch three. Sure, turning on switch three. Okay, okay Google, turn on USB one. Okay, turning USB one on. Okay, Google, turn off power strip. There you go, turning off the smart power strip. There you go, very simple. So next thing, let me show how to set this up on the Amazon Alexa. So let me bring up Amazon Alexa app and go to Smart Home. So this has already been configured with Smart Life app. And if I scroll down, you should be able to see the different switches. So there you go. So you've got the, the power strip there and I can actually turn it on and off completely if I wanted to. I can, let me go to the switch and let's try it via Alexa now. Alexa, turn on switch one. Okay. There you go, turned on. Alexa, turn off switch one. Okay. Alexa, turn on USB one. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch two. Okay. Alexa, turn on switch three. Okay. There you go. How simple was that? Works with both Google Home and an Amazon Alexa. Pretty impressive. So there you go, you've seen the unboxing of the product, you've seen how easy it is to configure with your actual mobile, uh, easy to control. So a great product, highly recommend, and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing it. So there you go, thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.